Hello, I'm Bob Stretch, your market research instructor, and I'd like to take a few minutes to show you a down and dirty way of quickly creating bar charts in Excel from a data set. In this case, we're looking at a data set from the textbook, and if we'd like to figure out, oh, let's say, what's going on with the educational categories, column F here, we can quickly come up with a bar chart to show us. Now, in order to do this, we have to take a number of steps. First, we have to capture the entire column. The easiest way to do this is simply to press Control and the space bar simultaneously. That will capture the entire column. Then we go up and choose Insert Pivot Charts. Now, you may never have used this before, but it's really a quick way to bring data together and summarize it. So we'll simply click this. We'll accept all the options. And we end up with this somewhat confusing page. But actually, it's very easy to use. You simply go up and click on the box next to the one field we want to use, in this case, the educational categories. Now, if you notice, we do have the row labels, but no data, because we haven't told the system what kind of data we want to show. So simply click, hold, and drag that field down into values. The default value is totals, and we're halfway there. The numbers in a typical data set are fairly useless to us. We have no idea what 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 actually means. And that's why I included a key. So if you click on the Key tab, you'll notice that for the educational categories right here, that 1 relates to less than high school, 2 relates to a high school diploma, and so on. Well, we can cheat by simply grabbing all this and right-clicking, copying, going back to our sheet and simply pasting with the transposition that same data. Now these are the narrative values of 1 through 5. So we can simply go up here and manually copy them. I'm just using Control C and Control V for each one of these. There's, if you notice, less than high school, high school diploma. We'll grab that, Control C, Control V, keep doing this. The blank tells you that no one skipped this question. But blank doesn't really tell anyone who's looking at your chart what that means. So we can rename that to something like this. No response. Well, now this is a much more meaningful chart. The legend over here doesn't really do us a whole lot of good. Now, there's a number of ways we can get rid of it. We can click on it and simply press Delete. Or, with this clicked, you can go up to Layout on the Pivot Chart Tools and look at each element of your chart and modify it. So in this case, we'll turn off the legend. It's that simple. Another alternative is we can clear up the title and come up with something a little better. Instead of total, how about something like respondent educational levels? So keep playing with this. You can use all of these layout tools to improve and move the chart around, change how it looks. When you're done, simply click somewhere inside the chart itself, right-click, copy, then open up Word, and in Word itself, simply paste or Control-V, and there you go. It's that simple.